frankly, we have a video we want to show that gets right to this point. Can we play that video, please? I'll be clear in how I characterize this. This is a, mostly a protest. Uh, it is not, uh, it is not generally speaking, unruly. Peaceful protest. Peaceful protesters. Peaceful protest. 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 Peaceful protesters. On behalf of myself, my children, and the family of David Dorn, we'd like to thank friends, neighbors, co-workers, and the community for showing all the love and support we've suffered through the tragic loss of my husband, my beloved husband, David Dorn. We'd also like to thank St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department for their hard work and perseverance through this investigation as well as circuit attorney's office. He dedicated his life to the city of St. Louis, retiring at the rank of captain after 38 years of distinguishable service. Then as a chief of Moline Acres for almost six years. During those years, he's touched so many lives as a friend, mentor, coworker, and guardian. His life was senselessly taken from me, from us, by an opportunist who had no regards for human life or the law. This didn't have to happen, but it must have been God's plan for David. We need to come together as a community and do better. We need to teach our young people that life is very precious. We as a family are gonna be taking some time to focus our attention on healing which is very important as we move forward. We would like David's legacy to be remembered as a loving husband, father, grandfather, brother, uncle, friend, colleague, and most importantly, a child of God. I'm gonna thank you all for coming and God bless you all.
Well, I hope that uh, Mr. Jordan will never uh, complain about the length of my opening statement. Without objection, I'm going to insert the committee's uh, audiovisual policy into the record of this hearing uh, and note that the minority did not give the committee the 48-hour notice required.